You know, here at Lake Solbegon, we have the usual amenities of town. Oh. Uh, we've got the basics, like mm-hmm. um, uh, strip clubs, right? Oh. Well, I mean, uh, uh, Portland is the stripper capital of the world, you know. <laughs> That's and, uh, right, yeah. Uh, we've got strip clubs, too, in Lake Solbegon. Oh. Uh, but it's not your usual strip club. It's a goth strip club. Yes, have, have you heard about this? A, a goth strip club? Uh, yeah, so the way it works is mm-hmm. the entertainer comes out on the stage and mm-hmm. is wearing, like, these uh, uh, black rags. I mean, that's what they look like. Oh, okay. um, Or even over their head, like, a hood or a, oh. a cowl or something. Oh. And they come out on stage, uh-huh. and they come out to the pole, and they sort uh-huh. of slide their back against the pole uh-huh. and, and lean against it, uh-huh. and, uh, and then they just kind of uh, sort of slowly slide down the pole uh-huh. until they're, like, uh-huh. squatting or sitting on the ground, uh-huh. and then they brood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they think about the futility of life. It's uh, all its nothingness, the emptiness of it all. Oh, I see. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the people who are sitting up at the rack, uh, you know, right. right up front next to the stage, yep. uh, they sit there and they contemplate the pointness of ex- uh, their pointlessness of existence mm, okay. and the insignificance of the human experience. Ooh. And when they feel they've made a connection with the entertainer up there on the stage, uh-huh. they, uh, they take out their wallet right. and they get a, a dollar bill mm-hmm. or a five or, uh-huh. a, or a 20 even. Uh, it's usually a dollar. Oh, okay. um, and then they uh, set fire to it. <laughs> they set fire to it? Uh, yeah, they just watch it burn right there. Uh, complete the symbolism of it. Uh, watch it burn away into nothingness until it's nothing but ashes. Whoa, that's heavy. Yeah, and that's how we do it here at Lake Solbegon. <laughs>